open I walked a hundred miles in tobacco skin My clothes were worn and gritty And I know ugliness Now show me something pretty I was a dumb punk kid with nothing to lose And too much weight for walking shoes I could die from being boring And as for loneliness She greets me every morning Okay, so I'm going to explain that little segment um, the, the Ace production, the, the sandwich explosion, whatever you want to call it um, here's your setup. You're going to start with two face up aces, followed by two face down aces and an indifferent card. Now, when I perform this, I don't actually have that indifferent card, so all I need is my aces set up. And I'm going to go into um, Mist or Exia Manipulator's, um, it's called the Blaze Cut, I believe, a slight variation of mine on it, in which I do add on a card on top. Okay? I'm not going to explain that. You can find her original tutorial without my addition. Um, on her, her account. I'll link you to that in the video description. From there, you're going to get a break underneath the top card, simple push over, get ready, and you're going to load that top, top indifferent card between the two kings, just like that. What that is, is your standard sandwich load, um, so you get a break underneath it, and you're going to pick up everything underneath your break, okay, so you've got three cards here. Strip off the top king, hold this uh, double as one and just put that king onto the bottom. Drop those onto the floor. Hopefully they stay together. There's a couple tips on that um, in various DVDs I've come across. Um, that's probably my favorite. Uh, I'm not sure where I picked that up, but uh, I'm sure you guys can find it. From there you need to force the, the top ace. The way I do that is I didn't want to have to cut the deck and do a, a riff of force. So what I do is I do a variation on it looks like that. Basically you're riffling down and you're just swing cutting and then showing them the top card. But if I were to do that, it looks obvious. So what I do is I break up that action by seemingly squaring up the deck. Okay? By just tapping them together, breaks up the whole action, makes it more convincing. A little time based direction. So riffle down, they call stop, you swing cut wherever they stop, tap together and show them the top base. From there, that goes into the middle, but of course, retaining a break. As I go down to the kings, I'm going to pass the aces to the top, and I'm going to pick up the kings. To pick up the kings easily, you squeeze them together, okay, squeeze them together, that creates a bubble, at which point you can pick them up a little easier, okay? Then you can do a double, double card pushover, show the kings, snap, and a card appears in between them. Now at this point you can't just show the card because it's still the indifferent card. So what I'm doing as I'm going here, my uh, I go forward with the kings to show them that there's a card in between, and this hand drops back and gets a break underneath that card. You're gonna square up, and you're gonna do a, a variation on the frustration count, in which you strip off that king, show the ace which is on the bottom. You're not actually showing this card, you're showing the ace that's on the bottom, then strip off the indifferent card, hold two as one and sandwich that. Now you're going to hold down tightly with your thumb as you strip this out so that this card doesn't slide. From there I spin this as I gather the kings together with one hand. And that goes into the middle. I snap and the card appears in between the kings again. Now from here I'm going to pinky count down my aces so I'm getting to that bottom ace. Okay? So it's uh, it's pretty easy. You're, ca you're just pinky counting to the, uh, the bottom mm -hmm. ace and then turning over everything underneath your brakes. So you're turning over that whole segment and strip out this ace, put it between what they think is the king's actually two aces, okay? And uh, with this hand you grab it between your uh, your ring finger and your middle finger, so they're gonna flip like this, ring finger on top, so they're gonna flip like this, and then your your index and your thumb go on the their selection. So this is gonna happen, okay? And in this hand, you're pulling off the top card with your thumb, okay? Or you can open up like that, whatever you want. Um, so all together, that looks like is this, and they all appear. 
And so that's my sandwich production, uh, sandwich explosion, whatever you want to call it. It's a nice taste production. Um, I hope you guys enjoy it. Have fun. Cheers.